Uh, Paralympic athletes need a bit of help from Prince Harry at the moment. They're gearing up to go for gold in Sochi, but they need our help. With just 44 days to go, the team needs to raise $200,000 to make the Games. Paralympic alpine skier Cameron Riles Rabula joins us now live from Melbourne. Cameron, good morning to you. Good morning, Carl. Tell us, uh, tell us why you need that help, why you need those, those donations, and why you haven't managed to get that money together. Um, look, the uh, Australian Paralympic Committee plays a big role, um, obviously, in driving our Paralympians to, to reach their goals. Um, a large amount of funding that we receive from the uh, uh, federal government and through our sponsors actually goes to implementing the programs within Australia to help engage disabled athletes mm. and disabled people within the community. However, it doesn't um, help so much in terms of getting our athletes actually to the game. So a lot of the money that we we raise through fundraising um, with the APC, Australia. Australian Paralympic Committee is to actually help our athletes attend either Sochi coming up in 45 days or whether it be Rio de, Rio de Janeiro in 2016. So what happens if you don't get this funding? All those people that have put in so much effort, um, so much hard work, what happens? Well, look, I mean, it's hopefully it's not something we have to contemplate, but, you know, obviously if there's a limited amount of funding, then usually it means there's a limited amount of spaces in mm. terms of with the team and, and the amount of coaching staff and, and assistance, which is obviously going to affect the performance of the athletes who are attending. So it is pretty critical that we try and reach this goal. Obviously, it, it's an ambitious goal of 200,000 mm. before the uh, start of Sochi, but um, hopefully it doesn't mean that we have to end up washing cars and... Uh, doing door knocking. How, how can people donate? So the best way that people can donate is going to the website www.pledgeyourbelief.org.au. Um, they can have a look at some of the links and actually read some of the athlete profiles. Um, and it's a great way to sort of engage with some of our Absolutely. rising Paralympians. And I'll tell you what, you deserve uh, sometimes uh, more funding than able-bodied athletes. Uh, just as an example, I want to draw your attention to the behaviour of uh, one such athlete. The speed skaters, to be exact, uh, this is just yesterday. Watch this guy. Uh, I think it's a guy, or is it a girl? Anyway, it's someone in a speed skating outfit. As they cross the line, that's terrible sportsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably probably doesn't really envision the whole Olympic and Paralympic movement, but, um, you know, I suppose a rush of blood to the head, you know. I don't know about our ice skaters. Maybe they're not thinking too much. This, the cold might have got to their they're head. They're tweaked differently, um, as, as opposed to you guys. We, uh, you guys and girls, uh, we wish you all the very best in the quest for 200. It doesn't seem like a lot of money, and people can help out. More information on our website. Thanks so much for your time, and best of luck. Thanks for having me, guys. No problem at all.